The leopard print midi skirt was the fashion trend of the summer last year, and it appears that social distancing and stay-at-home guidelines have brought about another new fashion trend. This year, it's tie-dye sweatsuits. You've probably seen this look in all kinds of patterns and styles on your Instagram feed. It's being called the official look of the quarantine, and the best part is you can create this trendy look right at home. Ashley and I are going to show you how. So I went two different ways about this. So okay. I'm excited to show you because if you were to go online to like Urban Outfitters or somewhere to buy a matching sweatsuit or just a cropped sweatshirt or a t-shirt or whatever you want, it's pretty expensive. I know there's some matching sweatsuits, sweatsuits going for like $80 or more. Okay. And that's a lot. Well, so we're going to make just our own. Do it ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. So, like I showed you in the beginning of the show, I made this for Ashley for her birthday. I'm so excited. So, this was actually, I'm just going to run through this because it was made with bleach. I didn't use any dye or anything, so all you need is bleach. I bought a shirt that was this maroon color. I scrunched it up the same way I'm going to teach you how to do the sweatshirt, and then all I did was spray bleach on it. I got it wet with cold water first, sprayed bleach, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then I washed it on cold water. Just in your washing machine? Yep. Oh, so that's Easy enough. all I had to do. So I'm just going to move this over here. I thought you spent a little more time and effort on my birthday present, Brittany. Well, I did. <laughs> I did. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's so cute. So let's move on now to the sweatshirt. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to buy a sweatshirt. Now, if you want to use like a tan color on a colored sweatshirt, you can. I have Rit Dye, and this is what a lot of people are using online. And it comes in all different colors. So you can see I brought in denim blue, I brought purple, and I brought wine. Now, this was Could you a, just use wine? What? Regular wine? No, it wouldn't hold, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> but wine does stain, yeah. so who knows. But this was just originally a white plain sweatshirt, like what you have right there. Okay. So you can buy these sweatshirts from anywhere. I know Walmart has some, or if the, you want a color like a lime green and then use like a white dye or something, you could do it that way. So just kind of decide what you want first and then get your materials. So we just have the plain white sweatshirt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start scrunching from the middle. Okay. So you're gonna take it from the middle and you're just gonna kind of start bunching it together. And this one obviously has already been done, but I'm just gonna demonstrate with you on it. Just the whole thing. Yep. With the sleeves and all. So obviously when you do a sweatshirt, it's a little bit more. Then you're going to start taking your rubber bands. And you might not even be able to get like all the way around it, but even if it's just like a side. And then you just start putting on a bunch of rubber bands. So we'll do that. Like how, what's a, how many? I mean, kind of whatever you want, because the, the more scrunch, the more patterns you're going to have. And there is another trend going on too, where it's that gradient. Yeah, going on. And so with that, you literally paint. You use a paintbrush. So you take the dye at the end of the shirt and you put it on and then you can just, you can either dunk it and bring it up in water or you can actually paint it and bring it up so it's gradient. So some of it's like that dip dye. Yeah. Yeah. And this would be probably, ooh, this would be a good, <laughs> broke one, it scared me. This would be a good project to do with maybe a sweatshirt that has seen better days if it's got yes. a stain on it or anything. I've seen a lot of people using sweatshirts like that to use for this. So, I mean, I put quite a few rubber bands on because I like that look of it. Yeah. But the gradient texture is actually pretty cool too. So, how are you doing over there? I'm doing good. It does take a little while. Just I've seen some thicker rubber bands too. I don't know if that would really make a difference, but. I like And this. you can cut it with a scissor too and make it into like a cropped yeah. sweatshirt. A lot of people are doing that as well. Or take an old pair of biker shorts are super Biker popular. shorts? They're like the Stop long... Stop it. Nope, they're very popular right now. Thanks for making me stylish again. <laughs> you know, I don't know, should I tell people how old I am? I need you. I need your help in my Everything life to make Everything comes me. back around. So just wait? Honestly, probably. Okay. If, you're, if you have space to store stuff. <laughs> All right, so I think mine would be good like this. Yeah, okay. So then what you're going to do, obviously this would be a lot easier if you're in a bathroom, so you have a sink in a bathtub, but you're going to want to get everything all wet. So I put a cold, because you're going to use cold water. So right there I have a bowl of cold water for you. So you're going to kind of okay. dunk that in, make sure it's all wet, and then kind of wring it out so that it's not like sopping. Okay. I just wanted to get one more on. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Does that look good? Okay. Perfect. So dip it in all the way around so the whole thing is wet. Okay. And then, yeah, just keep turning it so you can get the whole thing. And then kind of wring it out so that it's more of just like a damp. As this much is as my workout. As fast as you can. I don't need to do your backyard workout. <laughs> 
Okay. And then once you have that part done, you are going to start doing the dye part of it. So okay. I have the mixture ready to go in this repurposed spray bottle I have. But what you're going to do is you're going to have two cups if you use RIT. Obviously, the type of dye you use is going to make you vary how much you're going to use yeah, and stuff. Follow but, directions. So there's two cups of warm. So you have to heat it up, make sure it's warm. Boiling works, but we warm just have water. warm. So two cups of warm water with two tablespoons of whatever RIT dye color you want. And then you're also going to put a tablespoon of salt. Okay. You put it in, you mix it up, put it in a spray bottle if you have it, and then that's what it So that's what like. you got here. Yep. So then you're just going to start spraying, and I want the whole thing to be covered. You should not see any white. So just start spraying all the way around it. I think I tried to use a pretty good amount of it. I did try to use all of it. Really so, saturated. Yeah. And if you want to, you could probably just kind of like dump the dye mixture that you have on it. But I thought if I sprayed it, that it would really get around every part and yeah. not be darker in some parts more than the other. I like it. And you could just go ahead and make your matching sweatpants at the same time. Right. I suppose you could get more than one spray bottle and do more than one color. But well, what's on trend? Actually, honestly, anything. Not really, you know, when you would tie-dye shirts and they're all these different colors. That's not as much on trend. It's the just, you know, like this where it so don't do like, like the rainbow. Cloud. Yeah, but you can really do anything you want. But once you get all of that sprayed and you're ready to go and go crazy at it. Was I supposed to put the gloves on? You could have put gloves on. <laughs> but once you get done with that, you're going to run cold water over it in the sink and just keep turning it, running cold water, and you're going to see color dye coming out of it. And once you don't see it colored anymore and it looks clear, you let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then you just wash it in your washer. I could do that. Yeah. I want to try the one that you told me about that's like a black sweatshirt with bleach. I think that looks really cool. Yeah. So that's Thanks. one that I probably will do next. So Thanks for teaching yeah. me and for the birthday present. Yeah, of course.